what makes an economy vibrant is putting in policies that are effected over decades, as Tag just indicated. You don't get the sugar high. But the thing about it is even in, in, during the Obama administration, if you take a look at the performance of the stock market, again, Trump did not beat it, even with the good policies. Well, the, the good policies that Obama had or the good policies that others have had. I, I wish we had even better policies, but I guess we all have to move to Minnesota if we want to see that. But anyhow, folks, um, I want to address uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Here's the thing. You know that a party is sick. You know a party is defunct. A party has a, a moral, it's morally defunct. If the attack that they're going to make on you is because the things that you did are the things that you want to do, help people, help the masses, make the lives of most much better. I want the president's administration to play this clip over and over and over and over again. Marjorie Taylor, Marjorie Green Taylor, and her cabal, the Republican Party in the leadership, believes that President Biden is in the order, is on the same order of Johnson and FDR. Who wants to create a great society or to help people or to make people have a two-car garage and a chicken in the pot? And he wants to make their lives better. And you know what Marjorie Taylor said? That's not good. We need to get him out of there because he's trying to make your life better. Remember, in contrast, what even here our governor is doing Things to make your life better. Do you, I mean, to make life worse. Do you have a friend who is sick, who has no health care? Blame your governor because the health care is there. Health care is there if they, if they would accept the Medicare expansion to the Affordable Care Act. Do you want better schools? Do you want better teachers? You know what? He says no because he refuses, as uh, Randy Weingarten said, to give more money to the schools where they can actually provide better services if they were better capitalized. But would they do that? No, but he will give all these things away to the industries, the industries that are more parasitic than doing fine for anyone else. So let's hear what, let's hear what MTG, what Mar Ta Marjorie Taylor Green thinks uh, is bad with the Biden administration. And if you don't see this, would be concerning. Check this out. Well, while speaking at the conservative Turning Point Action Conference yesterday, Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia warned that President Biden wants to address issues like education, medical care, and rural poverty. Take a look. Lyndon B. Johnson is very similar to Joe Biden. How are they the same? They're both Democrat socialists. Lyndon B. Johnson was the majority leader in the Senate. Does that sound familiar? He was vice president to Kennedy. Joe was vice president to Obama. He was appointed as the president after JFK was assassinated. Then he was elected. His big socialist programs were the Great Society. The Great Society were big government programs to address education, medical care, urban problems, rural poverty, transportation, Medicare, Medicaid, food stamps, and welfare, the Office of Economic Opportunity, and big labor and labor unions. Now, LBJ had the Great Society, but Joe Biden had Build Back Better, and he still is working on it. The largest public investment in social infrastructure and environmental programs that is actually finishing what FDR started that LBJ expanded on, and Joe Biden is attempting to complete. So, Reverend Al Sharpton, that sound you're hearing is the White House thanking Marjorie Taylor Greene for the campaign commercial. Let's remember, of course, that in their first months in office, they eagerly embraced the Lyndon Johnson comparisons. The Great Society is what they were shooting for. They're trying to be the most transformative legislative uh, presidency since then, those first two years when they had the Democrats in control uh, in the House and the Senate. 
That sounds like, I think for most of our pets, that's music to their ears. I, I was waiting on the attack. I mean, she said all of that and I was waiting for, and what do you object to? She left out the Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act. And she forgot to say that Lyndon Johnson uh, defeated Barry Goldwater in one of the biggest landslides in presidential history in this country. But, and, and that, Joe Biden defeated Donald Trump. He didn't inherit this from the assassination of his predecessor, but we won't let facts get in her way. I think never that before. if I were the Democratic Party leadership or the Biden people, I would take that clip and run it all over the country because the things she's saying that Biden stands for and LBJ and FDR stood for are the things most Americans want and many are living on right now. You're going to attack Medicare? I mean... I see now why they put out of the Freedom Caucus, because now she's in a caucus of her own, and it's not a very wise caucus. And it is not a very wise caucus, that caucus of one. Look, I when when I saw that, and I just saw the I saw her face on the screen before I heard the preamble, and I saw that and I'm like, oh my God, this woman is making an ad. And it's the same thing that turned out the guy had said. Uh, she's making an ad that says, you know, and, and I always wonder about that. You know, we have so many people out there always saying, we don't want big government. We don't want this. In, in a, in, implying, of course, you want big corporations and big otherwise. And if you have those things, you know, the corporations, uh, their, their fiduciary responsibility, the people that they owe, the people that they have to make whole, the people that they must do good things for are the shareholders. And the executives, the profits that the executives make, they have no, they, by, by, by corporate rule, they have nothing that they owe to you or me or anyone else. It's, they must do whatever they must do to maximize the value of that company so that the shareholders can get as much return on their investment. That is the business model of America. So when Marjorie uh, uh, Taylor Greene goes out there and says, well, and what Biden wants to do is take some of that back to make sure that you are whole, to make sure that things work right for you. In effect, she's saying, why are you going to support a party that wants to support you? Why not support those who want to extract from you, be parasitic to you? Well, folks. Here you go. It, you, you, when your mind is so messed up that folks are, who are trying to make your lives better, you're shunning them. And those who continue to paralyze you, to harm you, somehow they get the spoils. Folks, we got to do better than that. Let's inform ourselves. Let's not allow others to snow us. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.